Hey everybody, it's Miss Denton. I am back again to give you another art lesson to do this week. I hope that you are enjoying this beautiful weather that we've been blessed with. I hope that you are enjoying time with your family and I am looking forward to the day that we can make art together again soon. So stay tuned and enjoy this lesson. All right, so we are gonna get back to some drawing today. I was inspired by all the rain we've been having recently to show you how to draw a simple portrait of a person um, holding an umbrella. And this is easier because you don't have to draw the person's face. So I'm gonna start by drawing the umbrella. So this is gonna be um, kind of teaching you the basics to kind of sketch drawing. So you don't have to draw with harsh lines. So I'm gonna start by, I wanna get as round of a circle as possible. So I'm just gonna kind of sketch you can see I'm lightly drawing so that I can get a good round circle. And you can always erase some of these sketch lines later. So now I've got a pretty decent sized circle. So I'm gonna to try to find the center of my circle and make the tip of the umbrella. Then from that, I'm going to curve out a little bit to make the first part of the umbrella. I'm going to turn my paper and do another one of those arms and you can see how it's kind of curved. And just keep going around making these curved lines for the each section of the umbrella. So now that I've got my uh, all of my umbrella sections, what you wanna do is you wanna make kind of a light dip and connect these two dots. So right here, I'm gonna kind of dip down a little bit and connect, dip down and connect. So just slightly dipping, not a huge dip. So dipping down a little bit and connecting each one of these little lines. And last one. All right, so now that I have that, I'm gonna go back and erase some of my um, circle markings just so that I can get a better sense of what I'm looking at. All right, so there we go. So there we've got our umbrella. So we're gonna go ahead and go back over these lines and make them a little bit darker because we're gonna show, I'm gonna show you how to do some um, shading. So I'm just making those lines that would typically stand out on our umbrella a little bit darker with my pencil. Okay, then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna shade each one of these sections. So what you're gonna do is you're not gonna push down super hard. You're gonna lightly push on your umbrella and you wanna, the important thing is making sure that you're going in the same direction. See, I'm just going in an up-down motion. So I'm filling this space with shading. So if you feel like you're um, filling, your filler shading is a little too dark and you want this to stand out a little bit more, you can always come back and push a little bit harder. You see how it stands out now. So I'm going back. This one looks kind of light too. So I'm gonna fill this in. Right. 
that's fine. I'm going to go back and make my edges a little bit darker too. Alright, so now it is time to add the person. So I'm going to have it look like... I'm going to have it look like the person is holding the umbrella over their shoulder and they're looking off into the distance that way. So I'm going to start right here and have the shoulder... So I have the shoulder of the person right here, and then the body or the other arm is going to come down about halfway here, okay? So you want to create the line. So say this is the shoulder, you want to create the line between the arm and the body. So here's that line, and the arm comes down, and then you kind of create the space where the arm goes forward to hold the umbrella. So you can see how I kind of created a slight space between the body and the arm here. So I came down, made that curved part for the elbow, made the part of the arm that's going in to hold the umbrella, and then kind of erase some of that extra line. All right. Then I'm gonna come down and make the waist of the person. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to come make the waist. And I'm going to come in with the arm. Also coming in to hold that umbrella. This time I'm not going to show as much space. Maybe just the, the bend in the arm. And you can see how I'm just doing light sketching motions. Um, all right, so now this is your chance to decide. Is this going to be a girl or a boy? So I'm going to go ahead and make it a girl wearing a dress. So I'm going to come straight out from that waistline. If you want to make it a boy, you can turn it into pants or shorts, whatever you want them to be wearing. So here is the dress. Just sketching dress kind of a wavy outline I want to make it look like it's got some motion so I'm putting some lines in it okay. so there is the basic outline of the dress next we want to add her legs so I'm going to come down I'm going to kind of taper them in like this and a line in between and my legs happen to go off the page so but if you were to start a little bit higher maybe you'd have space and you could draw the back of some shoes if you wanted um, also if you wanted to add some more detail maybe you could add um, some long hair kind of coming down the back of the person maybe um, to add some extra detail to the picture so that is the basic idea you can always add some raindrops a really cool background add to your sketch but this is the basic idea so I hope you enjoyed this drawing and I will send you another lesson next week